Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a slight change of scenery and <laughs> a slight change in climate. I thought I'd take you somewhere a bit more exotic than Devon or Cornwall. We are in Thailand. We're in Thailand Krabi in a place called Anang and it is absolutely incredible. We are talking 38 degrees Celsius temperatures. I usually complain about being cold all the time on my vlogs and I'm not being funny but I think I'm just gonna yeah complain about being too hot this temperature is insane but i'm absolutely here for it 38 degrees wow tom's up there having a beer and i'm just taking in these views we got here yesterday so we're just finding our bearings we're staying at a hotel called blue blue hotel it's about a five minute walk from the beach it's got like a pool really modern lovely hotel just to base yourself in Krabi and Krabi is a great location for exploring other islands such as PP and Koh Lanta which is what we're planning on doing so we're going to explore this area for the next couple of days we've walked through the town and it seems really nice it's got lovely shops markets food restaurants drinks everything you expect to be in Thailand it's just incredible the prices are just insane as well you get so much for your money it's like just a no-brainer to come here for a holiday, traveling, whatever. It's just it's absolutely paradise. I absolutely love Thailand and I have been here before and this is my first time in Krabi and it's Tom's first time here as well. And it does feel a lot more relaxed than other places I've been in Thailand. I'm thinking like Phuket. I feel like it was much more fast paced, really hectic. Anang feels a lot more calmer. Um, really, really paradise feeling to it really happy to be here and I'm really excited to take you around and show you Thailand and be actually hot and warm for a change so anyway let's go and do it oh God, this is the first time I've tried Tom Kha soup in Thailand and it does not disappoint. You guys know I love my food and I'll be honest, half the reason I'm here is because of the food. It's insane and insanely cheap. Mm. So we've had a few meals here already um, that we've not shown you. And me and Tom do eat quite differently. I'm a veggie, he's a meat eater and we've both been just blown away by the food. Even Tom thinks it's some of the best food he's ever had in the world. And the fact it's so cheap as well, can't get enough of it. So we're heading back to the hotel now after watching the sunset. I think I've had one too many beers. I'm feeling a little bit wiped out, probably from the, the heat, the sun, the traveling. It's all good. So we're gonna head back have a shower, get changed and head back out again. Back in the room, back in the air conditioned room. Can't believe I actually need cold air right now. It's, it's like eight o'clock and it's hotter than it would be on a summer's day in the UK. So yeah, I'm trying to acclimatize, but let me show you our room. It's not huge, but it does the job. We're here for a couple of nights. We've got queen size bed, which is great. Nice space, got a TV, all this area, wardrobe, got a chair, uh, a lovely balcony. So this is really nice in the morning. So over here, we have a lovely view of the lion cliffs, mountains. Can't see it because it's dark, but I do have a shot of it in the morning, which I'll show you just here. Yeah, we're just blown away with this place. It's so lovely. And for £50 a night for something like this, you really can't complain. And that is on the more expensive end of Thailand. I think in a couple of days we're staying in a place up the road and that's only going to be £25 a night. So I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Hey, ready for the night market? I will admit, Tom and I have, <laughs> he's pulled back into bed. We have just fallen asleep. We've had a bit of a nap. That jet lag has caught up with us. It was a long journey here. It was about, I don't know, a 24 hour journey, pretty much. And I was awake the whole time, just couldn't sleep on the plane. 
so I'm really feeling it now. There are like more quicker ways to get here, like from Bangkok direct to London, you're looking about 12 hours. I think you stop off in Bangkok for a night, but yeah, we stopped over in Dubai and it just made the journey a lot longer, but it's, it is what it is. Tomorrow we'll feel a lot more human, but there's no time to waste. Just about fully recovered from our jet lag so we're just packing up the room we've got about 10 minutes to get out but before we leave I'm just going to show you the lovely view we have from our balcony we do actually have a hotel down here look at that incredible incredible cliffs so our next destination is only about 15 minutes up the road just on a quiet stretch of beach in Krabi. Anang's been great and it's a nice place to locate yourself for a couple of nights just to feel the hustle and bustle and get that feel for Thailand but we're ready to just go somewhere a little bit quieter now and where we're heading is I think it's called Kolong Mung Beach. We'll confirm that later because I'm not 100%. It's supposed to be a little bit more quieter, chilled vibes bit more authentic but with still a few things going on so I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's like we're gonna check out now maybe grab some breakfast down there grab a tap check and head up there check out my view gonna get this every day in a taxi to Ko Kwang, Ko Kwang Beach and this accommodation is so lovely. We come into these little elephants. We made the towels into elephants. Wait for it, you have to see up this view. This is what our room and balcony is overlooking this incredible view of the beach. Wow. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is paradise. This is set away from all the hustle and bustle. It's about a 15 minute taxi away from Manang, which is all the busy touristy place. Here is much more laid back. I believe it's still touristy. They've still got places set up for us. Loads of restaurants and beach bars and things because you do kind of need that. Stay on the path a little bit. But this view is just something else, isn't it? And I better mention to you the name of this resort. So it's called Ko Kwang Sea View. And it's actually turned out to be a bit more expensive than I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting to pay 25 pound a night for, for this view, which probably was a, like pushing it a bit. Although I have paid cheaper in Thailand for views like this. Um, this is actually set as pack 60 pounds a night, which is not cheap for Thailand, not for accommodation like this. So I'm not really sure where that price has come from but I'm not complaining it's a lot cheaper than you could get in the UK but just bear that in mind I think prices have definitely inflated a bit 
but it's expected since the pandemic and everything like that. Here is the front of the apartment street. It's all quite spread out. It feels a lot less touristy here. It's still kind of, you know, set up for tourists. I'm going to have a wonder down there. Wow, there's a coconuts up there. Don't want to sunbathe underneath that. <laughs> wow. So this is the beach and that way we've got more restaurants and cafes and things but I'm just kind of taking it all in for a minute. It's such a change from a nine, you know, the hustle and bustle and people trying to sell you things and people everywhere. This is so tranquil. And to be honest, this is what we kind of come here for, just to experience more authenticity in Thailand. Oh, nice little sitting area. Probably sit here later on. We've been walking for about two minutes. Been melting. It's crazy, crazy heat. It feels warmer here than it did in a nag. Maybe we'll head up there. It's cool. This is the hottest we felt it because there's not much of a breeze here. It's 38 degrees Celsius, it's insane. But this place is beautiful. This is exactly what we were after. We couldn't find in and out. We show you the views. Cooling down with the Chang, I can't get over how hot it is. It makes a change from me moaning about the cold all the time in England, but geez, this is next level. It took me ages to choose something to eat because the menu was just endless. So much choice and it all looked delicious. Yeah, and this place is a seafood restaurant, so if you're ever over this way and you like seafood, head to Bandele. <laughs> Pretty fancy. It's only set us back about ten pounds. Let's tuck in. The deep fried anoki mushrooms be a thing in England. This is insane. <laughs> biggest fan of heights <laughs> and it is a bit sketchy I mean look at the rust underneath them come down can you get off <laughs> just heading back to the apartment and it's still about 38 degrees even at 5 p.m. the temperatures are insane and in this area compared to Anang it's definitely not even a breeze so really really feeling it so a lot of times kind of spent showering from the sun, which I never thought I'd say coming from such a cold country. But it's um, it's still beautiful, sitting out just looking at the views. Just be aware, if you're gonna come between like February and April, it's gonna be scorching hot. We're like almost at 40 degrees Celsius. And it's too hot for a beach day. You kind of have to just sit sheltered under your umbrella, near some water to cool off. Like I say, the water's barely even cold. <laughs> it's like an initial bath. But I'm definitely not complaining. It's gonna be a beautiful sunset tonight. I think we're gonna head up to a bar called Dragon's View Bar, which I've seen online that's recommended. It's also our only night here. We made a bit of a mistake. We have the boat trip tomorrow and we don't come in until like 9 pm. So unfortunately we're not doing two nights here, it's only tonight, which is actually a real shame because it's amazing. 
but you know, if we don't like any of the places, we'll probably come back here. So it's all good. Got the fruit over there, the dragon fruit, uh, passion fruit, I don't know what that actually is, watermelon. The prices are like half the price of like really tourist areas. Such a different feel to Anang. Like, this is what Thailand is about, and I keep saying that, but I love this. And back at our apartment. Okay, so that was an incredible sunset yet again. Back up on the balcony now, just watching the last of it. Well, I actually just fell asleep for like 20 minutes. I came up to the room wiped out again it's crazy like i think it's the heat i had two beers came back up to the room oh I'm just, i can't stay awake that's not like me i'm not a napper i've got serious fomo so i'm like nope i'm not napping i've got back up because the same thing happened yesterday i've just wiped out these are crazy temperatures my body's like <laughs> just taking it out of me but i'm having like, some water and some coke and I'm just gonna try and stay awake because I don't want to miss it. I want to, this is the only light here. Go down to the beach, like I said. Soak up the vibes. I've got a feeling it's gonna be a great atmosphere here. Look at the stunning colors of the sky. The palm trees, absolute magic. How the eyes kept down there. So we're down here and it is so beautiful. It's like, all the lights, I don't know if you can see because it's so dark. It's absolutely stunning. Right behind me. I'm honestly gonna turn into a spring roll by the time I get to England. I've eaten so many. Mm. That's amazing. It was like a jumping fish and it sucked onto my foot. So that was fun. Let's pick it off. Hopefully I'm not poisoned. So we're in a new location just down um, from the restaurant we were at. The lovely waitress has just given me some mozzie spray because obviously there's always mosquitoes around so that was really nice of her. But the location here, bean bags, peaceful, hardly anyone here. It's amazing. Probably the quietest place I've been on a beach in Thailand, on a bean bag. So tranquil. Talcum powder sun. It's just like amazing. Uh, I've got to stop talking because there's music playing and you know copyright. All you can hear is crickets. I think this is what all the touristy areas in Thailand were like 20, 30 years ago and I feel like this place might get there in the next 10 years. There's definitely a lot of resorts, hotels, restaurants being built up which is great for their economy but I'm just glad that we're here to see it as it is. More authentic Thailand. I could get used to this. I just had a lovely breakfast from downstairs. The woman and the family who run this place are so lovely. They just made me some eggs, eggs and toast with some nice fruits and croissant. And yeah, it was delicious. I feel like I need to speak really quiet because it is so quiet here. <laughs> we are checking out this morning, unfortunately. We've only had the one night here because I booked a boat trip today which will be incredible I'm sure so it's like a four island tour four or seven I guess it'll be all these sort of islands in the distance look at that though I'm looking forward to it it starts at 2pm and it ends at like 8 so I think we get to do a bit of night snorkeling which will be interesting so we're just getting ourselves ready for that now packing up get a taxi back into Anang it's only like a 15 minute ride 400 Thai bar. That's what she just quoted me. Pretty cheap. It didn't quite the taxi I was expecting.
so we are back in Anang. Uh, it was only a short trip at um, what was it? Klong, Klong Kwang, Klong Kwang Beach. I think that's what it's called. I keep saying it wrong the whole time I was there. But we're back in Anang in a new hotel room. But she upgraded us to a sea room, a sea view room because the superior rooms were booked up. I'm not complaining. I'll quickly just show you the room. Really nice size. But we're not staying there for too long because we are jumping on the boat in about 45 minutes. But how good was that tuk tuk? When I first saw it, I said to Tom, getting on that, with all our weight and all our bags, I was like, hmm, 20 minutes? Going along in that, I don't think it's going to make it. <laughs> but it's actually one of the best journeys we've had because we've got to see everything or even see in a car. It was just a really fun experience. I'm just going to tuck into one of these because I'm starving before we head down to the boat. Tom keeps buying them from 7 Eleven. They're like a seaweed sushi type thing. We tuck in and head down onto the boat. So excited. really spoken much yet we've not been able to it's been in and out of the water there's been music playing but we're finally out on a kayak going over to this private beach one of the only few quiet beaches left in Thailand look at this look at these views absolute scenes Tom's doing all the hard work back there <laughs> The snorkeling's like nice here. I've seen a few fish, coral reefs, lots of sea urchins. It's just been an amazing day so far. And we're approaching the beach. Wow, this is beautiful. We even got my Mai Tai. To get used to this, I just fell in. And there's loads of jellyfish. <laughs> this place. Looks like Ho Pee Pee. The jellyfish? Where? Where? Woo! Oh, there's jellyfish coming for me, guys. Place is paradise. Just incredible the, the boat hosts 
the owner of the company. It is called Crabby Sunset Cruises and it's just been amazing so far. Still got a few hours left until sunset. I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> Getting back in the kayak, back to the boat. This is paradise. Look at the water. So we're about to get in the sea with some bioluminant creatures and I can't take you with me because apparently the camera doesn't pick it up so I'm gonna live in the moment <laughs> 